episode 13. Uh, my name is Nat Diaries. Uh, we're, not gonna, we're not going to do a, a great deal on the wagon attack today. Uh, we're going to focus more on the beta today. It needs a bit of TLC. I've attached it for a bit. Um, so we're just, just going to give that a bit of look today. Uh, the exhaust and the manifold's blowing like an absolute bastard. Uh, it's probably where you can't get OEM exhausts for the four wheel drives. Uh, especially in Europe anyway, like rocking on shit. So uh, luckily, um, I made a stainless system for this one for myself, two inch, uh, with a modi uh, modified manifold to the transfer box. So today we're going to swap that over. Um, hopefully we're going to put 421 on there as well. Uh, we'll see what time gets me and see how easy that comes apart. Um, let's take it from there. Right, this, this should be a, a simple task, just a couple of rubbers holding it on. And uh, maybe this bit should be off in no time. Current exhaust is uh, it's blowing quite badly. It's blowing somewhere at the back, somewhere in the middle, and somewhere at the front. So, I'm going to give you a little sound clip of what it sounds like currently. Such a shit.
Woo! I think you that's a drop. Soft now. So while I've got the manifold off, I'm going to look at this uh, oil leak I've got down here. Um, I've, took this, I've took the distributor off. Uh, looking at it, it's coming from the distributor seal. Um, so I'm going to clean all this up, uh, put a new oil seal in there. And hopefully we don't get the smell of burning oil as it evaporates off the manifold anymore. So that's the manifold on. Let's start putting the rest of the sub open back on, back on now. Um, I had a bit of an accident when I was changing the seal on the distributor and I, uh, I dropped it and I snapped it. So I'm out to drive home on uh, three cylinders tonight, unless I've got a spell on that pile over there. Uh, we'll find out in a bit. The bumper and all that back on, subframes on, splash guards on underneath. Um, so let's uh, crack on the rest of the exhaust system. There's a blow here, there's a blow there, you can just see the crack there, look. You know, blow in the gasket there. Um, this one is one I built uh, myself about two or three years ago now. It's not perfect, all done by eye. Um, it's a uh, true two inch, all mandrel bends, there's no crush bends in there. And uh, yeah, it's nice and loud when you want it to be, but you know, when you're cruising, um, it's quite a nice hum. It's not really a droning noise, it's quite lovely, so all along when it's nice and quiet.
Um, I don't know how I'm going to keep it on this. Uh, might keep on for good, might keep on for a short period of time. So uh, let's get it fitted and uh, let's crack on. So a second ago I showed you that I'd uh, dropped the distributor on the floor and I'd uh, smashed the cap which meant I'd have to have to driven home on three cylinders um, nothing new there uh, so I've done a little bodge to get me home tonight and I'll get a cap order at work tomorrow fix anything with cable ties smart so that's it for episode 12. Um, I apologise, it's not a very exciting episode, but I promise I'd keep the content rolling. And uh, you know, I did need to do work on this today. So the exhaust is now on, sounding good. Nice and quiet to idle now. It used to be quite, you know, blowy, which is why I've changed it. Um, I've messed around with the parcel shelf and the cargo interior because it was squeaking like a bastard. I've adjusted all the doors so they don't squeak anymore and uh, hopefully it'll be a nice pleasant drive from there on so that's it for, that's it for episode 12 no shout out this week because uh, I've not researched into the shout out this week so hopefully next week I'll we'll work on Wagon Attack again and I will shout out so uh, until next week thank you for watching Listen to my shit. Listen to my shit.